So next up is uh, one of our Canadian attendees. We actually had four or five people from Canada, which I thought was excellent. And Rasmus Kiel is a, a new biochar colleague of mine, and but he's been working in biochar longer than I have. And what he's doing, I think, is really important. Um, he's, he's the moderator, how do you call it, curator for a wiki about open source biochar technology. So, Rasmus. So my name is Rasmus Kiel, I'm from Toronto. And um, for the purpose of this talk, my affiliation is Biochar Ontario. I was one of the founders of Biochar Ontario back in 2009. Um, my academic affiliation is with the University of Toronto, but none of my work is, my academic work is related to Biochar. So um, I'm on the med medical faculty there. There are some medical implications of Biochar. And uh, if you're interested in those, I can, we can talk uh, later after we talk. Yeah, right. But I'm speaking about wiki pages, biochar wiki pages, mm -hmm. and open source ecology. First of all, what is open source ecology? Next. Many people are familiar with the with open source software, basically software that's freely available to people without license. And the open source hardware movement is similar. And the, and the hardware movement creates <coughs> Uh, physical artifacts, machines, designs that are available to people and um, that you can download, modify, and sell even. So uh, this group, Open Source Ecology, um, the, the idea behind that was to create machines that are open source and to, to create eventually uh, you know, an open source society. Next slide, please. OSC was founded in, <coughs> in the mid-2000s by uh, Martin Jakubowski, who did a PhD in fusion physics. And uh, towards the end of his, his, uh, his PhD, he realized that he uh, wasn't going to solve, this was too far away from solving the world's problems, and he, he wanted to go a different way. And so he started OSC. And they have a demonstration site in rural Missouri. Uh, where they build some of these machines. Next. And uh, they call this the Global Village Construction Set. <coughs> Basically a set of 50 machines. Some of them are agricultural and, uh, and for construction. And uh, so 50 very basic machines that are open source and uh, anyone can use those designs. And this is to build a small civil civilization, as they say at OSC. So uh, product ecology. So this, uh, this concept um, uh, refers to kind of a synergy of machines. So for example, the so ecology not in the sense of the biological science of ecology, but as an in interaction of machines. So for example, next slide. The power cube is an uh, internal combustion engine that is in a steel frame and that can be swapped between different machines. For example, a car, a tractor, or a truck, or a brick press, or other machines. So these machines all interact. That's, that's what the ecology stands for. And here you can see a brick press <coughs> in these compressed earth bricks. There's a power cube again. And there's a tractor in the, in the back. And um, this is a micro tractor. <coughs> Walk behind micro tractor, again with the power cube. And uh, many of these machines have been built and in uh, many versions around the world, replicated. So here's one uh, being assembly, assembled, and the power cube being lifted. <coughs> Here's the power cube running on charcoal with a gasifier. So that brings me to the topic of biochar and charcoal in general. So it's one example how some of the work I've done with them has influenced their product design and development. So charcoal as the fuel. And uh, so I, um, 
So different, somewhat different from wood gas, charcoal gasification uses only the char charcoal gas. So it's already been turned into charcoal and the, and the charcoal is gasified. So uh, this has the advantage, it's, it's without the tars and the oil, so it's somewhat cleaner. And uh, it runs very nicely, it's a very clean fuel. And um, so I discovered OSE in 2009 and uh, found that not all of the pages were immediately for the production or development of, of products in the global village construction sector. There were some biofuel pages and some construction related pages and some permaculture pages and uh, other material that, that was not immediately related to open source hardware development. So I thought, okay, let's have a biochar page. So I added the first one. And um, as you can see here, there's a section about product ecology, again, interaction of products, how they, how they, they fit together. And um, the, the biochar economy, <coughs> another page that was added some years later for, to present a wider vision of biochar and um, some co-production concepts are listed as well and um, so this was getting a bit off topic and further away from open source hardware development it's kind of going in a different direction but anyway I, I kept doing uh, writing these biochar related pages on the wiki and uh, back then a couple of some years later I added this section about a possible future dedicated wiki that would be dedicated to this biochar related, product related uh, development and um, for example there's a page about the Contiki kiln with the hardware specifications and everything, videos and uh, again there are there's always links to <coughs> other products on on the wiki, other pages on the wiki, and um, how different products interact, how they interface. The earth pit kiln, a kiln very uh, ancient technique, very widely used. Biochar crusher, we've already seen demonstration outside and heard about it. That would be a useful product, especially in agriculture. And so I wrote about some design considerations for crusher uh, and the different possibilities, different technologies that could be used for it. Biochar is a building material that has uh, quite a bit of potential. A lot of people are interested in that. And um, we've seen uh, biochar in concrete and plaster that's been dried. And then uh, roof tile, certainly. So biochar is a composite. And uh, roof tiles next is a recently added page <coughs> for about the research at RIT. And then there are uh, pages about commercial products. This one, a char maker from an Australian company. And pages about projects at other institutions, such as this one, this uh, biochar producing tractor. This is a, a project in Sweden. A page, a page about bone char, a useful product in water filtration. Sorry about pyrolysis oil, so somewhat more distant related pages. So, um, the Biochar is a co-product in pyrolysis oil and a bio biorefinery. There was actually um, a biorefinery was actually one at one point a, a official project at Open Source Ecology. And uh, so, if, if the biorefinery is based on pyrolysis rather than you know, fermentation or something, then biochar might be a co-product. Biochemicals from pyrolysis related. So, and then um, there are some very speculative uh, pages. So for this one, so uh, for example, biochar 
brick co-production system where biochar would be produced and the heat and all the gases would be used to fire bricks. So if that could be done, then that would be a very efficient way to, to use the heat, the waste heat, to, to produce two things that are needed, biochar and bricks, so possibly very useful. Um, so, But this is all in the idea stage before any proof of concept. It would probably require a lot of biomass to be to, to work, but um, this other page, next one. Similar here, a biochar lime co-production system, so biochar and a system where limestone would be burned into quick lime. So this is all before proof of concept, just basically ideas pages. And Otherwise, I have just have some conclusions from the work on Wiki. So <coughs> the, as I mentioned already, the biochar pages seem to have influenced the, the product development at OSE to some extent. For example, the idea of charcoal as fuel. Um, biochar, a Wiki is a very useful format for distributed product development, where multiple people in, in different places around the world are working on the same project. So a uh, wiki is a good format for documentation. And um, one of the goals of this talk is I just wanted to get the conversation or the, the discussion started on whether a such a uh, product focused wiki would be useful for the biochar community. That's the talk. Any questions? Well, I definitely think it would be useful, and uh, <coughs> that's one of the topics I want to bring up on our next International Biochar Initiative Board call, because I never knew about this, and I could spend hours on it. So. <laughs>